Today I show you how to change the password on your Wi-Fi hotspot of your Android phone. This is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, Android 15 and I have the hotspot setting here. For you it might be a little bit different, the hotspot setting could be actually for me the hotspot, I have it enabled here, you see this like a half circles there instead of the Wi-Fi. Now I don't have the mobile data enabled on the phone but the hotspot you would use it to share mobile data through Wi-Fi with other devices around you. And you could do this even to share Wi-Fi on some phones, but my phone, the Sony Xperia, doesn't, doesn't do that when I try, if I try to share internet from an, another Wi-Fi to connect to a Wi-Fi and use the hotspot, it doesn't really work. Let me know if you have a fix for that. This is the error, tethering, tethering error, error occurred during tethering. It's because I don't have the mobile data enabled and it's not connecting to Wi-Fi. So tether and tethering check. Okay. Now I have the I have the hotspot enabled, but I don't have the 5G or the 4G enabled. And normally you would use the hotspot to share the mobile data through the Wi-Fi through the hotspot. And I have it here in the quick settings menu. If you don't have it in this menu, you can swipe down two times and then you can add it from one of these one of these icons there and save the menu. And to open the settings, I can long press on the hotspot and I get to this page, but I can also show you how to get to it from the settings page. And you open the settings up and here on network and internet, under network and internet, I have the hotspot and tethering. And here I have portable hotspot and Bluetooth tethering. You can also use Bluetooth tethering. But to change the password for the port portable hotspot, I could even disable it. If you don't need it, you shouldn't have this enabled. Before I start the hotspot, I want to make sure that the, the name is what I want. You can change the name. You can change the security setting. You should really not put it to none. Maybe WPA2 and WPA3 personal. It's a good choice to have a combination of both when it's available. It's all about compatibility here. And this is the hotspot password. You tap, you tap on the hotspot password there. You can type any password you like. It's good to have more character, not just this. Ion at Ion <laughs> at Ion how to dash hotspot. It's not a great password to have on the hotspot, but okay. I press this just a test for you. You should have something more complicated. You should have also some number, one or two numbers, maybe three numbers. Special character, there is one special character, but you could have also upper and lower case. And the long password is better to have a few words, like make a sentence, the, make the password a sentence and use some of some numbers at the end or at the beginning or in the middle anywhere. Here, this option is pretty useful to turn off the hotspot when it's not in use. If there are no devices connected for 10 minutes, there's no need for the hotspot. And this setting, from what I understand, is very confusing for me. Use 2.4 GHz only. By turning this off, you can use the 5 GHz band if available. And the 2.4 GHz band for hotspots. On Samsung Android, you can share the Wi-Fi through the hotspot to another network, basically, and without using the mobile data. But this doesn't really... I mean, from what I understand, this will connect with 5G to one Wi-Fi setting and then use the hotspot. It doesn't really work for me. But the whole point of this video is to show you that I changed the password. So the password is changed now and I even enabled the, the hotspot. It started now, even though... So, yeah, I get now. 5 GHz portable hotspot is available. So... And then I get the tethering error, the same thing. The same as usual. Same as usual, the, this error and portable hotspot. I can re-enable this setting. I'm not sure really how. If you know about this, please write in the comment section below because I don't know. And if you want to share the settings, if you want to give the Wi-Fi password to another device, you can share them. You can tell them the password, but if it's a really long one, you can give them the password so they type it on the on because they will see it as a Wi-Fi connection. But you can use you can also use this QR code option. And with the QR code you can scan the code and connect to the network. It's very convenient. This is the QR code option, it's really convenient. 
but now the password is changed and I can go back. And when you don't use the hotspot, turn it off, don't keep it on. Now the phone is connected to the internet through Wi-Fi automatically as soon as I turn off the hotspot. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you.